When we study the molecular symmetry, we come across various symmetry elements. Collection of symmetry elements, we need to label. And to label that, we use a term called as point group. Because you take any symmetry element, there remains one common point. Even for identity also will be there the one common point. The definition of that point is our point group. To label that point group, we are using various procedure. We are using one flow chart, one systematic procedure. In order to avoid confusion, I am not considering special point groups like tetrahedral, octahedral, icosahedron. Other than these usual point groups, how can we categorize? How can we find by using flow chart? Let us see. I divide this discussion in three parts. The first linear molecule. A second, a molecule which has no axis of symmetry means other than axis plane of symmetry may possible and third where axis of symmetry is present represented by c n n is greater than one now see steps which need to follow first category of molecule linear molecule if molecule is linear then which axis should be there certainly c infinity axis should be there yes those c infinity axis possessing molecules for them ask question is there center of inversion if yes then point group d infinity h and if no then c infinity v example for d infinity h hydrogen molecule diatomic homonuclear molecule and hcl molecule diatomic heteronuclear molecule not only that similar co2 also comes in d infinity h hcn that's a triatomic molecule will come in c infinity v now let us consider second category of the molecules where CN does not exist where N is greater than 1 because when C1 remains that is nothing but identity and we are giving priority to the identity so I don't consider C1. In such molecules ask a question is there any plane of symmetry sigma if yes then point group is CS and if no point group can be CI or C1. These two possibilities are there. Again ask question because out of those two possibilities sorting is necessary. Ask question. Is there a center of inversion I? If yes then point group is CI and if no point group is C1. Point group is C1 but while considering operations we are considering identity E. So here if only plane of symmetry remain present in the molecule other than the identity then CS. If only inversion remain present, no plane of symmetry, no axis of symmetry, no improper axis of rotation, then the point group is CI. If no other element possible other than identity, the point group is C1. That's the explanation. Now let us come to understand third category of the molecule where c n exists n is greater than one now what logic you will follow for that what are the possibilities of point group c n c n v c n h d n d n h d n d and s n where n is e1 for such molecules ask question are there any subsidiary c2 axis which are perpendicular to c n Cn is a principal axis. If yes, then three point groups are possible. Dihedral point groups those are Dn or Dnd or Dnh. Then ask question, is there a horizontal plane? If yes, then point group is Dnh. If no, then two possibilities are there. Dn and Dnd. Now ask next question, is there any dihedral plane? Sigma D. If yes, then point group D and D and if no then point group D and first we thought about perpendicular or subsidiary C2 axis perpendicular C2 axis then we discuss planes different kinds of planes here we have not discussed vertical plane because in case of this diadal plane is distinguishing plane now other possibility what was our previous question if subsidiary C2 axis perpendicular C2 axis are there then we discuss if they are not there then which are the point groups possible? CN, CNV, CNH and S2N where N is a principal axis. Then ask question, 
whether there is a improper axis of rotation s to n if yes then point group is s to n here see only improper axis of rotation remain present but as a consequence of s to n a proper axis that's a cn that we can find the major role is here is of the s to n but suppose this improper axis of rotation not present then three point groups are possible which are those cn cnv and cnh then ask question is there any horizontal plane if yes then point group c and h if no then two possibilities are there cn and cnv then ask question are there vertical planes and actually number of vertical planes will be equal to the order of the principal axis n sigma v if s point group is cnv if no point group is cn that's simple so if i have to sum up First, we discuss linear molecules and for linear molecules, we applied center of inversion as a filter. Then we consider non-linear molecules without CN. There, plane of symmetry was a filter. After our center of inversion was a filter. And for molecules where CN exists, where N is greater than 1, their first filter was subsidiary C2 axis, perpendicular C2 axis. C2 axis perpendicular to the principal axis. Then filter was horizontal plane. Then filter was of diagonal plane. That was one side. And to the other side, where subsidiary C2 axis are not there, the first filter of S to N, improper axis of rotation. Second filter was of horizontal plane. And third filter was of vertical plane. Here, diagonal plane not came. And other side, vertical plane was not there. I hope you are getting this point. So, by this, you can categorize the point group. For example, water molecule. In water molecule, is it linear? So, first option not there. Is there any proper axis of rotation where n is greater than 1? Yes, C2 axis is there. Second category also not there. It is in third category. Now ask the question. Are there any perpendicular C2 axis? No. Other side. It is not there. Is there any improper axis of rotation? No. Is there any horizontal plane? No. Is there any vertical plane? Yes. So point group C and V. That's a C2 V. Likewise, for other molecules, you can attempt. So question to you. Find point group of BCl3 molecule. And second question, find point group of CO2 molecule using this flowchart. 